Hi guys, it's Victoria, and today I wanted to come on and do another one of the YouTube Mommy Meetup prompts. So uh, this group, um, it's a Facebook group for YouTube moms, I'll th put the link below, and whenever there's a vlog month, people sort of come together and come up with a list of ideas for topics in case you run into a, a, a break where you can't think of something to do. And um, this is a topic that I would have done either way because it's something that I love. But today I'm going to talk about my favorite Christmas movies and songs. So I will see how long it gets. I might break it up into two different parts, but we'll see how it goes. So I'll start with uh, Christmas songs. Now I'm somebody who loves Christmas music. I sing in a couple of choirs and we start rehearsing for our Christmas concerts in September. So it's hard not to get into the Christmas spirit on the early side. I know some people think that stores and people start listening to Christmas music way too early, but I'm not one of those people. I absolutely love it. I love the mood it makes me feel and I love singing along and I just love everything about it. So I have satellite radio and there's a couple of really good Christmas stations on there that I listen to regularly. And I also have a, a bag of Christmas CDs that at holiday time I just put it in the car and sort of rotate through those as the weeks go on. And I just absolutely love it. I love having Christmas music. I have like an app on my phone, Songza, that you can go in and put like country Christmas or contemporary Christmas or classic Christmas and it'll just play. So I always have that on when I'm like when I'm Christmas decorating or doing the tree or I just like to have it on in the background because it helps me feel in the mood. So I have a lot of favorite Christmas songs. I tried to pick a few of my very, very favorites and I'm sure as soon as I'm done filming this, I'll hear another one and say, oh, I should have talked about that one. So if that happens, I will try and add the links below. But I'm going to start with the Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Now, I don't know how many of you have heard of the Trans-Siberian Orchestra or TSO, but whether you've heard of them or not, you probably have heard their songs. They're used a lot in movies and commercials, um, and they usually have concerts on TV. And they are a group, it's like a rock orchestra. And I believe they started out doing Christmas music and I was fortunate enough to see them in concert, uh, actually when I was pregnant with Noah in, that would have been Christmas of 2009. 2009, I saw them actually in Worcester, Massachusetts. And you have never seen a concert like this. It's like, it's a, a rock orchestra. So a lot of them are like, you pretty heavy rock and roll guys with the long hair. And, uh, but then there's like an orchestra and it is a light show, a pyrotechnic show. There's fire, there's, lasers. It's incredible. I do have some videos from when I saw that. So if I can find them, I will insert one here. And if I can't find them, I will link below to like a couple of other YouTube videos of their shows. Absolutely incredible. Like you can't believe what you're seeing. The people are up in the air, out over the audience, just absolutely amazing. And I have one of their Christmas albums and an, an album that's not Christmas. But my favorite Christmas songs of theirs would be Christmas Canon, which is a version of Paco Bell's Canon. Um, and it's like a rock version and it has vocals, so it has a Christmas um, story to it. And that's one that a lot of people have probably heard. It's often done with a, like a boys choir. Uh, Christmas Eve in Sarajevo is another one of my favorites, which is a version of Carol of the Bells, which is one of my favorite songs, any version of it. But this one is amazing. Um, and another one is called uh, Wizards in Winter, and that's one that I find seems to crop up like you hear a lot of different places, so it's something that people have probably heard of, but they might not know the name of it. So those are three of my favorite TSO songs, and I love pretty much all of them. Their, their CD is amazing. And they actually just have, uh, they just came out with a new Christmas CD, so I'll have to check that out. Um, my... Other, probably very favorite, would be and my favorite singer in the whole entire world is Neil Diamond. And I'm probably one of the only people of my age generation that, uh, that loves Neil Diamond, but I grew up listening to his music. I love his voice. And he has two Christmas albums out, and I have both of those. So he does a version of uh, the song War Is Over, which is best known by John Lennon. So I really like the Neil Diamond version of that. He does a song called... You make it feel like Christmas, uh, which is about how, you know, a husband and wife and they make it feel like Christmas for each other all year round. Um, another one that he does, and I don't know if it's an original or not, I don't think it is, but it's called Candlelight Carol and it is beautiful. 
And one I just heard, my mom heard it on the satellite radio and told me to check it out, is called Holly Holy Christmas. And it incorporates a bunch of Neil Diamond's best known songs, one of which is called Holly Holy, uh, throughout, the, uh, throughout the whole song. So it's really neat. So that's uh, some of my favorite Neil Diamond uh, songs for Christmas, and I love both of his albums. Um, a couple of other songs, just random ones, would be a song called Grown Up Christmas List. And I just, I love the message in that song. I know Natalie Cole does it. I think Kelly Clarkson does it. There's probably a bunch of different people that do it. I first heard it when my mom sang it with a choir that she was in. It's a beautiful song. I love the song uh, Believe that Josh Groban did for the Polar Express. Um, the duet by Bing Crosby and David Bowie. Uh, if you haven't seen that, I'll, I'll try to put the links to a lot of these below. They do a version of Little Drummer Boy and it has another song like Peace on Earth woven in with it. And it's a really nice duet. The video is like extremely cheesy, but it's, it's neat to watch. It's from a long time ago. Like David Bowie was just a kid. Um, the, one of my, another Christmas album that I really like is Boney M and they do a version of When a Child is Born that I absolutely love. I really like Faith Hill's Where Are You Christmas from The Grinch. Um, if anyone's heard of the musical called Songs for a New World, there's a song in that called Christmas Lullaby and it is beautiful and I find being pregnant over Christmas because all the songs are about this child that is coming to change the world and, um, it just makes, I don't know, it just makes the songs even that more meaningful. I really like Taylor Swift's Christmas Must Mean Something More. You know, I really like the songs that have a, a message behind them about how we need to remember that Christmas is much more than just the hustle and bustle and gift giving. And the last on my list of favorite songs, um, I'm not sure if the artist Frank Mills is a well-known um, like international artist or if it's just a Canadian thing or if it's just an Atlantic Canadian thing I'm really not sure but he is a composer and piano player and he uh, he wrote Music Box Dancer which I think most people who play piano and probably most people have heard that's his most famous song and he does a Christmas one called uh, Somewhere a Child is Sleeping that is beautiful I sang it with choirs before and I was fortunate enough actually when I was in high school, in grade 12, Frank Mills has come here many times and done concerts, and he often gets a local choir to join him on stage. And um, I think it was mostly one choir that already existed, and they pulled in a few other people, and I was asked to participate. And it was amazing, because I was a huge Frank Mills fan, and it was really neat to get to perform on stage with him. It was a, a big highlight for me. So those are my favorite uh, Christmas songs. Um, some of my favorite Christmas songs. So now I will talk about my favorite Christmas movies. Um, now I'm somebody that just likes to have a Christmas movie, like music, have a Christmas movie on in the background and throughout Christmas uh, certain TV channels play Christmas movies constantly and the made for TV, mo TV ones are yes very cheesy but they're fun to watch and you know they're just lighthearted and it's just fun. So, um, I always like to have a Christmas movie on in the background, um, but my favorite ones that I have to watch, my number one would probably be the Christmas Vacation, Chevy Chase, National Lampoons. I love it. I crack up every single year. We quote that movie all year round. It seems like there's always a quote that you can apply to every situation from the movie Christmas Vacation. So that would probably be my number one favorite. Um, I also really like The Christmas Story, which is the, the you'll put your eye out with the BB gun one. And that's not one that I watched a lot growing up. Um, I always thought it looked really, I don't know, annoying when I saw the commercial, you'll put your eye out. And then my mom, she's a retired teacher, and a lady that she taught with was showing it to their class, and she came home and said, oh my god, it's the best movie, how have we been missing out on this for so long? So, excuse me, we watched it that Christmas and then we've watched it every Christmas since and we really like it. That's one we quote a lot too. I really like watching Love Actually and The Holiday. Even though they're not really Christmas movies, they seem to be ones that people watch at Christmas because they take place at Christmas time. I really like The Grinch. I like the original Grinch and the Jim Carrey version. And The Muppets Christmas Carol would be my favorite version of, uh, of The Christmas Carol. I really like that. 
Um, I'm sad to say I have never seen It's a Wonderful Life or there's another really, really famous Christmas one that everyone has seen that I haven't seen. It's a Wonderful Life and Oh, Miracle on 34th Street. I've never seen it. The original or the, I know there's a newer version. So maybe some year I will check those movies out. Um, but that's just a list of some of my favorites that I have to check out every year. I really like Shrek the Halls and the, um, we've got like the Madagascar Christmas and, um, there's a Christmas, uh, How to Train Your Dragon Christmas one that just like little short ones that are on Netflix that the kids love to watch. And I really like those too. But those are the, these are the lists that I, that I have to watch every year. So thanks so much for watching. I would love to hear below your favorite songs or favorite Christmas movies that I could check out. I'm always looking for, uh, for new things to listen to and to watch over the holidays. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Have a great day.